Starting in iOS 13 and throughout iOS 14 and 15, there has been a compress and uncompress option in the Files app right within iPadOS and iOS. So if you're rocking an iPhone or iPad, you can zip and unzip your files with ease, and I'm gonna show you how. Step one, we need to locate the Files app here in iOS or iPad OS. So if you swipe down from the top of the screen here and type in the word file, if you have this one here, the Files app, just tap on that one and it will drop you straight into your Files app. If you don't, you're going to need to do the next step, which is to slide down again and type in app and then tap on the App Store. And what you're going to need to do is hit the search button here in the bottom right-hand corner, tap in that search box, type in the word files, and hit enter. Now you're gonna be dropped into this screen, and there is the Files app. If you have it, it'll have open. If you don't, just tap on it there, hit the Get button there, it'll download the Files app, and you're ready to go. Let's now tap on the files icon here and this is what you'll be presented with. You'll have all of your different folders or locations on the left hand side and then all of the files and folders stored in those locations here. So iCloud Drive is where you have a lot of your things stored most likely. You may also have things on my iPad and the same thing will work across all the different locations. If you tap on this button here, you can actually edit your sidebar and add or remove locations. So if you're not seeing some of the locations here and you want to add different locations in, that's what you'll need to do. Oh, and if you're not familiar with the Files app, there's a complete tutorial linked up the top and down in the description. All right, let's zip up some files. First thing we wanna do is go in here to my iCloud Drive. Now I've got a folder here for my Studio Live Today files, and we're gonna jump into this one here, Beats and Loops. Now, to compress just one file, we're gonna tap and hold on the file here, and down the bottom there, there is a compress option. If we tap on that one, look at that. It creates a zip file of that audio file. Now that's useful, but probably not going to be something that's gonna be super helpful for you. What if you wanna zip up a bunch of files? Well, that's where our next tip comes in. This time we're going to zip all five of these files into one zip archive file. So to do that, we tap the select button in the top right here and we tap on all the files we want included, just like that. This time, down in the bottom right hand corner here, we tap the more button and we hit compress. And this is going to create an archive file. You can see archive.zip of all five of those files. Now we can rename that file now by tapping and holding and hitting the rename button down here. And then we can call it whatever we like here. So we'll just call this audio files. And there you go. We've now got all five of those files zipped up into one zip file. We can now share this via email or onto Google Drive or Dropbox or any other locations. And if you want to learn about transferring using different things like Google Drive and Dropbox, there are other videos down in the description. Now, one of the cool things about zip and unzip here in iOS is that files like GarageBand projects or iMovie projects that you usually can't send to places like Google Drive and Dropbox, you can if you zip them up. Now, if you just try to copy these GarageBand projects, they're going to become corrupted. But to avoid that, all we need to do is zip them up. So here is my song work in progress here in GarageBand. This is the project file. And all I need to do again here in the files app is tap and hold and go to the compress option. This is now going to create a zip file of that GarageBand project. So it's going to grab all of the data from in there and create a zip file. This zip file can then be sent to Google Drive or Dropbox or anywhere else and then be provided to someone else who can then download it and then uncompress it on their iPhone or iPad. In fact, to help you test this out, I've actually made this project available for you to download directly from my Google Drive. And I did that by coming in here to Google Drive, and then I've created a folder here, Songtember 2021, and there is that exact zip file. So there is a link to this zip file down in the description. Now, the way I uploaded this was to download the Google Drive app, or you can use Dropbox or OneDrive or any other app, and then upload it using something like this. So we'd hit the plus button there, there, we'll hit upload and then we'll hit browse. So this will send us in here and there it is. There's the file. So all I need to do is tap that. And this is what I did before. It uploads it into your folder here. You can then tap on the options here, share it, and then send that link to anyone who you want to download. And that is the link that you'll find right down in the description right now.
So that's how to zip or compress a file. What about uncompressing or unzipping? Well, the process is super simple. If we jump back here into my files app to uncompress a file, all we need to do is tap on a zip file and look at that. It will instantly uncompress and give you the project there. We can then tap on this one and it's going to open straight up here into GarageBand and be ready to go. What I'm actually going to do here now though is show you how to download a file if someone sends you one using a Google Drive or Dropbox link just like I've done. So how do you download and then access a zip file that you've been sent? Well, if you've been sent a link to Google Drive or Dropbox or wherever, just come into Safari here, the web browser here in iOS. You want to tap in the top there and then tap and hold and this will pop up here. You want to cl click or tap on paste and go and it's going to take you right into the link here. All you need to do is hit the download button and then hit download again and it's going to spark the Safari download manager. Just tap the download button there and up in the top corner here it's going to start the download process now depending on the size of the file and the speed of your connection it may take a little while but there you go it's downloaded that one it's 246.1 megabytes if we tap on this one it's going to jump over here to our files app and the downloads folder so here is that zip file downloaded and guess what Uncompressing or unzipping is as simple as tapping on this zip file. It's going to open it up. And this is exactly what will happen on your iPad or iPhone if you download this GarageBand project. So there it is. It's downloaded. It's unzipped. And all we need to do now to open it is tap on that one. It's going to open GarageBand. And there you go. You can now play around with my project for my recent song called Work in Progress. And you can use this to remix or do whatever you like with. But I thought this would be a good example to show you the power of zipping and unzipping here in iOS.